Hello friends, uh, the objective of this uh, lesson, a shorter lesson, is to sketch graphs of conic section. Okay, uh, a conic section com uh, comprises of uh, graphs like circle, uh, ellipse, hyperbola, and parabola. They all are grouped under the conic section. Okay, the reason they are uh, they're grouped under conic section is because when you uh, do different cuts of a conic of a cone, you can get circle and uh, you can get ellipse. You know, I can't explain how you can get a hyperbola or parabola. Uh, that's not the focus of this lesson. This is a lesson of how to graph a conic section equation. Now you've got an equation like this, which is x squared minus sorry, x squared plus y squared uh, uh, plus 8y plus 7 is equal to 0. So whenever you have an equation like this, you want to write this um, in a standard form. Okay. By looking at this, I can guess, I can make a guess that this seems to be uh, the equation of a circle. The reason being, I know the equation of a circle if I can write in this form, that is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared, then a and b are the center. So if the center would be a comma b, and the radius would be r. So my objective uh, would be to convert our given equation in this form. So I've got this equation. So I look at y squared plus 8y and think whether I can change this into a perfect square. So what I did is, uh, what I did is I take, if I take away say 7 from this side, let me use a different color, if you take away 7 from this side, you can take 7 from the other side, okay? So what happens is, uh, this and, oh, so, oops, uh, so plus 7, and minus 7 gets cancelled. Okay, so that's why the next step looks like this. That is x squared plus y squared plus 8y is equal to negative 7. Okay, okay. Now, uh, now to make it a complete square or perfect square, I have to have a number here. That's why I kept a blank there, space there. So to complete the square, or to make it a perfect square, you should know you have to do the half of 8, which is 4, that is 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4, and then if you square 4, that is 4 squared, gives you 16. So, I can, if I add 16 to this side, this will become a perfect square. But I can't do on one side, whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So I have added 16 to both the side. Okay, so 16 on this side, 16 on this side. So basically I haven't done anything to the equation till now. Okay, now what's the next step? The next step, now this has become a perfect square of x plus 4 squared. Or if you think about it, which are the two factors of 16 which gives you plus 8? So you know it's plus 4 plus 4. That is 4 times 4 gives you 16 and 4 plus 4 gives you 8. So that is x plus 4 the whole squared. Okay. Now the next step. So this is the equation of a circle. Now how do I know that? Okay. So let me scroll down. I'll show you. So this is the equation of the circle. I can write this equation in this form. So how can I write that? So this is what I've done. So instead of writing x squared, I can write x minus 0 squared to compare with this form. And instead of writing, oops, I made a mistake here. This should be y. This should be y. y plus 4 squared. Okay. That is x squared and this is y plus 4 the whole squared. So instead of writing y plus 4, can I write y take away negative 4? 
because when you take away negative it means it's same as adding and this 9 I can write as 3 squared so when you compare with the standard form of a circle a you can compare with 0 and b you can compare with negative 4 so and that's why I've said this is an equation of a circle with center 0 negative 4 and the radius of 3 okay so r can be compared with 3 now how would you graph it now this is I've used a program called uh, smart maths tool this is the axis x and y axis of 10 by 10 so the center is 0 negative 4 so this is this so this is your center and you've got a radius of 3 so count 3 from here 1 2 3 so this is one coordinate which is 3 negative 4 if you count from here this is 1 2 3 so this point is 0 negative 1 if you count 3 on from to the left that is 1 2 3 which is negative 3 negative 4 and if you count 3 2 3 down it is 0 negative 7 so if you join the points this is a circle this doesn't look like a perfect circle but this is the sketch of this equation which is x squared plus y squared plus 8y plus 7 thank you very much